match, fought and clawed his way to win the second set, and then Rio said no mas. It was a set off. Hey, Those who caught one match. 14, 13. Safin does so well. He's lean into that return on the second serve. He's got that height, so it's very tough to get the ball out of his strike zone with any sort of kick. So it's such good leverage. You know, he gets his record on the ball. There's no, there's no greater genius. There it goes. <laughs> Frustration finally coming out from Seven. That thing could be history. Sounded like it snapped. <clears throat> Seven's well known for breaking records. And I was just saying earlier that it's been a while since he's actually done that. But uh... It landed. Yeah, that, that looked on the line on the replay. I'm, I'm glad you could see it because I couldn't tell. It's it's gonna, it's gonna, it has to be juice. If this, if this is one of those bouncing marks, I cannot make that call. From here, yeah. you cannot see any space. Not sure, man. No. It's from out. here, there's no space the way you put the ball. That was rough. In his point. And it's the right point, which is that if it's that close to where Safin put it, barely. You got it. Oh, well oh. played. <laughs> Tell you what, that was great anticipation from Rios in the middle of that point. He gets it back at a tremendous yeah. angle, and Safin stayed right with him. He kept his wits about him, just dropped it over, just inside the line. Well done by Safin. play again from Saf and pushing Rios back. Gets the short ball, steps in with the two-hander. Connected. 15, 14. The slider's been working for Rios, but that time Safin leans into it with that big frame. Watch this great timing there. See, he's cheating. He's looking for that one and rips it cross court. First break points of the day for the Russian right here. And the error from Rios. Now we've got a match. We have a second set, at least three. A piece now in the second first set of Rios. Six, three. Judge so quickly. Oh, yeah, that's 
very good stuff there from Saffron, but there's no one to blame but yourself when you foot. Pretty off. Crunches the two-hander, gets into the net, puts it away, and Saffron has got a second straight break. Now in front by three, four points away from leveling at a set of piece. I'll tell you what, Cliff, I mean, from 3-1 down in this set, Saffin has really been impressive, not just in his ability to hit shots, but he's stayed in some points. He's worked hard to keep himself in a few points, scrambled right in our night matches. And there's the set. What an impressive four-game run there for Saffin. A five-game run. For the Terminator from Russia, Maris Saffin wins the second set. Of this place, Kanyas. Love it, Now, Bandian scores 7 5. Very, very close. Off the forehand wing. Correction oh. was good. Oh, Saffin's going to be upset about this, or maybe not. A lot. Lighting out a little frustration. I've been really silly early. I was just waiting for that. Oh, Rios. We're going to pick up his game here. Yes. Rips this forehand, flattens it out, well behind the baseline. Advantage point Rios. Safin not happy with that call there on the baseline. This one I saw good, definitely good. Let's see here. Look like it hit the line. Very seldom he's going to get it in. Oh, beautifully done. Boy, oh, that's smooth. On the run, sweep volley. Of the oh, that's, Rios. that's the talent of Rios. The backhand, though, is the one that set it up right here. He rips it up the line. He quickly moves forward. Oh, yes. Break point Rios. Serves him. Got that one in. Long and the break is served goes to Rios. Rios leads three games to one. Rios ambling up to the sideline to get a drink. Saffin throws that one up and try to catch it but dropped it and there's another crack racket so we'll switch.
Fochi Lab. Yes. Oh, beautifully done, opening up the court again, Rios. Seven took out Pebble with a straight set win yesterday. And he's in trouble now. Let's see if we get the winner's graphic coming up as well. Coverage there by Safin. For seven, that's the kind of thing Rios can do. Okay, here we go. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you just got it wrong. I know, but that's you know what even genius sometimes <laughs> fails. <laughs> Thirty love. There you go. There's a good angle. A little leg kick he does here. Okay, I'll try to tell you here. Big one. Oh, yes. Coolly done there by Safin. Wasn't a bad play from Rios. A little lack of days ago on the approach, but he hit it pretty deep. Just got in and Safin with the flicker. <laughs> 15 all. Not a great tiebreak practice, but a very, very solidly played match overall. It was. And it's happened, I'll tell you, down a break in the second set, down a break in the third, made a couple of loose errors, as you said, suggested, Cliff, at the beginning of the breaker, but really tightened it up. Uh, at the end of that, played a couple of very strong defensive points, which to me is really the key for Sapper, because if he's playing defense, you know that his offensive capability and his weapons are going to come through. So he moves on. They'll take on Kanyas next. That'll be another test. Kanyas, extremely tough on the hard court. Santoro will wait for the winner of the Sampras Haas. Of course, we'll have that one for it. Just, hey, just in a couple hours. Right? <laughs> take a break now. We'll come back to Toronto in a minute. Last eight. He's at courtside now. Marat, well played so. today. You started out serving beautifully. And then in the middle of the match, it went down a little bit, but you came back in the tie break. Yeah, it was a difficult match. I mean, uh, Rios uh, is uh, such a talented guy, such a, such a talented player. It's for him in tennis. I think it's too easy. That's his problem. And uh, in the beginning of the, oh, you know, on the first set, and I was a little bit outside of the court, and um, just uh, he was playing beautiful. And then I came back with a great tennis in the second set when I was down a break, and I just I was throwing well. And the third set I was down 4-1. And uh, just, uh, I fought. As you can see, I was running all over the court, trying to get the balls and uh, trying to, I don't know, try to fight. And uh, I mean, if you fight good, like me, today, that uh, I can be successful. Well, no doubt, Murad. And by the way, sometimes we say that about you, you have too much talent, you know, with all the shots that you have. But that was impressive, the way you stayed in a lot of those points. I think that playing good defense for you is always a good sign. Yeah, I mean, I was, uh, he was playing great. I mean, he was, he's in good shape right now. And uh, but he was a little bit unlucky, you know. You know, I played well, and uh, I just uh, was, I had to use all my, you know, everything what I have, and uh, serve, and uh, forehand, backhand, try to, I don't know, try to do, try to stay there in the match because it was very difficult for me. But 
I was there, I was there, and I, I saved my ass today. Two-part question, uh, Marad. Number one, is this your favorite surface? Number two, can I put a few dollars for US Open on you or what? <laughs> First question, yes, I think it's my favorite now. I, uh, if you would ask me the same question two years ago, I would say clay is my, uh, you know, my favorite surface, and right now I'm playing much better on the hard court. And the uh, second question, if you want to put money on me and uh, on Alfred. Was, was that a yes or no? Was that, was, uh, yes or no? We missed that. Yes, we should? <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear us anymore. Okay. Yeah, you I can hear it. you. You, you hear us. So we should put money on you for the Open. Uh, uh, I'm, I, will, I will tell you after the tournament. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Well, okay. good luck against Kanyas. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Marat Safin is through. He'll take on Kanyas next, as you just said, Patrick. And